Europe and America did not support Ukraine, and they did not predict a bright future in the European Union. It will be difficult to erase dirty stains of its pseudo-innocent image, and one of them is drug trafficking. Incredible, but true. Ukraine, at least in some ways, was a leader in Europe, namely the production of synthetic drugs. In peacetime, cocaine and heroin were sent to Odessa, and from there, the drugs were sent to Europe. According to the former deputy of Rada from Kiev, this happened under the control of the SBU. The SBU, or Security Services of Ukraine, throughout the country's independence, is controlling drug trafficking. Ukraine has been and still is a convenient transit country from Asia to Europe. The SBU monitors ports, the politicians told in an interview with Lightroom. But the Russian special operation has made it difficult, and now drugs are going through new channels, together with humanitarian aid across the Polish-Ukrainian border. And Ukrainian refugees got the opportunity to earn easy money by becoming couriers to Belgium, France, and Germany. These are countries where synthetic product from Ukraine is the most in demand. However, not all Poland is being explored as a new route. Previously, the Minister of Internal Affairs of Moldova, Anna Ravenko, said on the TV channel 8 that Ukrainian drug traffickers are now trying to establish trafficking routes along Moldova. Ms. Ravenko admitted that there are no obstacles for dealers to corrupt. Leaders in law enforcement and government, and they can exploit those who are from the state system and who have leverage it to simplify the transportation of drugs. Her words were repeatedly confirmed by the prosecutor's office. So on May 14th, a citizen of Ukraine tried to take two kilograms of synthetic drugs to the Moldovan checkpoint Tundra, hiding them on the body of his belly area. And on June 14th, three Ukrainian citizens were detained as part of a group of eight people. Together, they tried to get across the border with 10 kilograms of drugs, the total value of which the black market is estimated 3 million Moldovan lai. The Secretary of State of the Ministry of Internal Affairs of Moldova, Sergei Dyakov, said on the air of the TV channel TVC that the amount of prohibited substances of those who are trying to get across the border has increased by 700%. It is noteworthy that not all drugs produced are being exported. In the village of Sopino, near Mariupol, in the place where the militants of the right sector live, a laboratory for the production of illegal narcotics was discovered. Syringes, equipments, and chemicals were found in the room, which were aimed at making narcotics. And more and more Ukrainian POWs are admitting that they participated in hostilities and shot at civilians due to their drug intoxication. Did you take drugs? Yes. Many of you take drugs? Yes. No. How many people from your unit? Almost all. All 20 people? No. Yes. Who provided you with drugs? Chief Lieutenant of the unit did. What was his name? His call sign, Lieutenant Coyote. Well, did you realize they were shooting at the residents of Mariupol? I realized, but I was on drugs. I realized, but I was on drugs.